Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our hearts are broken, but our spirit is not. That is the Sandy Hook promise. Tomorrow marks six months since the tragedy in Newtown, a tragedy seared into the minds of every person across America, indeed many across, millions across the world. Like the anniversaries of the shooting in Tucson, in Arizona, in Oak Creek, and so many other communities, tomorrow marks an anniversary of shock, uncertainty, violence, horror. Tomorrow marks another solemn reminder of the persistent plague of gun violence in our society and of the ongoing challenge to end it. Over the past six months, many words have been spoken to offer our love and support to the community of Newtown and to the students and teachers of Sandy Hook. Yet from the start, we have known that words of comfort would never be enough. There would be no substitute for the action uh, that we must take, but that would be a truly fitting memorial to the 20 children and six teachers and administrators lost that day. Yesterday, uh, we had visits from the families that brought pictures of their loved ones who were lost, David Borden, Lauren Rousseau, Ben Wheeler, Benjamin Wheeler, Mary Sherlock, Dylan Hockley, heartbreaking photos of these uh, children and family members who were lost. I don't know how much more motivation we need than to see the tears in their eyes and the resolve in their voices to use their grief as a source of strength to help save other people. That would start with a vote on, a bipartisan, on bipartisan legislation uh, by Congressman Mike Thompson, Congressman Peter King, and 180 sponsors to expand and strengthen our background checks. Uh, no one knows better than the people of Newtown, the men and women, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, who lost their loved ones on December 14, 2012. Since that dark day, the families of Newtown and their supporters have turned their sorrow into strength, their pain into perseverance, their unspeakable loss into unmatched courage and determination to carry on. Yesterday, these mothers and fathers met with both Republican and Democratic leaders, yet they have come with no partisan agenda. They come as Americans who wish to spare their fellow parents and family members the mourning, fear, and terror they felt six months ago. Their message is clear. Honor the memories of their little children, of these educators, by helping ensure that no other family is forced to endure such an unimaginable tragedy. It had been unimaginable. Now we have seen it. Now our task is plain. We must restore confidence in the safety of our communities by taking clear, effective state steps to prevent gun violence in our schools, homes, and neighborhoods. I just read the names and showed the pictures of a few, of a few of the people whose lives were lost that day. For them and for others and for the lives we want to stay, save, again, I mention the bipartisan uh, Thompson King, King Thompson legislation. Uh, that means that using this, inter, uh, using this anniversary certainly to memorialize the victims of Newtown, but also answer the call of their families to give gun violence prevention legislation a vote in the Congress of the United States. Six months ago in Newtown, a lone gunman took the lives of 26 Americans. We all know that. It's emblazoned in our minds and in our souls. Since then, nearly 5,000 more Americans have fallen victim to gun violence. 5,000, Mr. Speaker. Now in Congress, we must courage the summon the courage to act. We must take inspiration from the courage of the Newtown families, from the courage it has taken to turn their grief into action. We must heed the moving words of the Sandy Hook promise. Our hearts are broken. Our spirit is not. 
As we mark this anniversary, we must hold, uphold our most basic responsibility, the oath we take, the oath of office, to protect and defend, to protect and defend the Constitution and to protect and defend the people of the United States. Mr. Speaker, I thank our colleague, Congresswoman Esty, and our, con our colleague, uh, Congressman Mike Thompson, for their leadership in bringing us together this morning so that we can not only remember, but that we can have the courage to act. With that, I yield back my time. I don't know.